There you are. Welcome back. Uh, it's summer in Seattle, which means for a week or two out of a few months, it's unbearably hot. And for places that don't have air conditioning, such as my studio, it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you see glistening, that's me sweating. I want to introduce to you something really cool. My Form Labs Battle Station. Witness the firepower of this fully armed battle station. It consists of a Formlabs 3L 3D printer, a Wash L, and a Cure L. The L stands for large, not loser. L for love. How about a few stats for each machine? The 3L is a resin-based 3D printer that's 335 on X, 200 on Y, and 300 on Z or Z. It's got an XY resolution of 25 microns and it uses two 250 milliwatt lasers. The resin tank itself will hold one liter of resin and two separate one liter cartridges of resin can be inserted on the side. The Form 3L uses low force stereolithography and that's where it uses linear illumination and a flexible film in the resin tank. It's really neat. The Wash L is the washing station for the 3L and it can hold the 3L build plates or it has a basket for parts after you take them off the build plate. Wash cycles are pre-programmed already for the various resins that Form Labs makes. It takes 10 gallons of solvent, either IPA, TPM, or water. I used IPA and I paid $25 per gallon. What? The process of lowering into the solvent and uh, raising from the solvent is automated and machine controlled. And at the end of raising, you can actually have a tilt so that the solvent more easily drains. The Cure L is a UV oven to cure the prints. It uses UV light and heat in order to finish off the prints that you printed. The temperature inside can get up to 80 C because it's using two 500 watt heaters. It has presets for all of the resins that Form Labs offers and a motorized platform ensures even illumination of the UV LEDs as it cures. Once I had this battle station installed, I wanted to give it a test print and the first print that I wanted to do was something I saw online. It's the Sugar Skull by Hex 3D. It's a fantastic model. I got that printed and it looks awesome. Also, Wexter's C-3PO models, they came out great as well. And in the, how I put them in the Cure oven, it actually looks like they're about to drop a, a really fantastic mixtape. I did print myself a Moon Knight by Photos Mint and a Moon Blade. I don't know if that's what we call it. It's the, the blade, the Moon Blade that Moon Knight throws, right? And uh, this is by my buddy, Nico Industries. Well, initially I thought the prints looked great. It turns out I was having massive hardware problems. The layer lines on this moon blade are very pronounced. Plus, prints had a very visible seam. And the seam comes from where the two lasers align on the 3L. So the 3L's build plate essentially has a seam line running along the X axis halfway between the zero and the 200 of the Y axis. And because that's where uh, the lasers meet up, that's, that's the seam line where they, you know, where laser A or laser B takes care of, there can be a pronounced seam on the models. You can adjust the offsets of the lasers and calibrate it in order to make that seam as minimal as possible. So my lasers were obviously out of alignment because of the seams I was seeing in the prints and I thought it was time to run a calibration print. The calibration alignment print uh, presents lines in X and in Y where they're supposed to, to line up. And usually you're supposed to pick the number that represents the best lines. And unfortunately, my calibration print just looked awful. Just awful. There was no way any of these lines were lining up and I was actually kind of frustrated. Keep it together. I reached out to Form Labs support and I'm like, yo, what's going on here? And it was determined that my lasers were too far out of alignment because of a shipping mishap and they wanted to swap out my 3L for another one. When the new one came in, I did print a new calibration alignment print and it looks so, so much better. And utilizing the values for X and Y that looked appropriate, I put those into the printer and it was time, it was time to do some printing. Right out of the gate, I wanted to print this model from Photos Mint called the Battle Troll. Let me show you. Yeah, 
something happened. Something happened. Oh. Everybody stay calm. I did have a failure and it's where the resin adheres to the vat film too much and then it doesn't release when it pulls up. And anyway, it, it, it happens on the 3L, it happens on the 3, it happens on any resin 3D printer out there. This type of failure can happen. So what I did is I took the sliced file for this and I sent it off to Formlab support and I said, hey, verify my settings, please just make sure everything's good to go. And they said, everything is good to go. This all looks correct. Can you try it again, please? And I, I did. There we go. Yeah! That's more like it. This is the Battle Troll by Fotis Mint and it is incredible. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I mean, the, the failure looks kind of interesting, but, but, but this one up close, mm. So good. I may have to reprint this. I do have my battle trolls printed out, uh, but but did you did you feel that? Did you feel that disturbance in the force? I have this project in mind. It's a set of lightsaber parts from Hex 3D, and it's 24 parts in total. They look incredible, and I've always wanted to print these. With 24 parts to choose from, it's really difficult and takes a long time to go through the parts and customize the lightsaber that you wanna make. Um, I took some time, I rolled it over, and I came to a decision. Which parts do I print? All of them. I printed all of them. This is the Saber Pack 2 from Hex 3D and it's glorious. It's all sorts of different saber parts that you can print and put together and assemble a custom lightsaber exactly fitting the needs that you want. A lightsaber, as you know, is very, very personal for any Sith or any Jedi, and the ability for these parts to come together exactly how you want it it's just a beautiful thing. Now I am the master. So one of the things you'll notice here, a lot of these parts don't have the supports on them, but parts such as this do, and they've been fully cured. Form Labs, at least what I could read, recommends leaving the supports on parts when you wash and when you cure, because then it maintains the structural integrity of the parts. The problem is the parts do become a little bit more difficult to take off after they've been cured. All of the rest of these, when the part is not fully cured and just after washing, the supports remove really, really easily. But uh, let me just take a moment to remove some of these. Cool. Well, I got those all off. It's time to make some lightsabers. So with all these parts, these resin parts, we do have to make sure that they fit. And, and you'll notice on some of these, you can actually see a little bit of white or uh, sanded resin. And that's because when I tried to fit some of these, they didn't fit straight away. With resin, what you can do is just kind of work it back and forth. It'll self sand. And then you can just. And then it fits. I made a, <laughs> I made a lightsaber. Let's make another one. I've got two lightsabers. Let's keep going. There we go, another lightsaber. And I've got parts left over to make other lightsabers. Oh, this is, this is so, so cool. This is so, so cool. And then this one. I made these, I made these, well, Obviously, the team over at Hex 3D designed these, but I was able to print these out. So that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed printing these out on my Form Labs Battle Station. Now, wait, but, but hold on, hold on just a second. So that Form Labs Battle Station that I showed you, that is not mine. What? Form Labs sent it to me in order for me to, to borrow it, to print some things with it, to show you cool things with it. The retail price for the hardware that I showed you is $18,500 US. It's an extraordinary system that comes with an extraordinary price tag. And I know that's not for most people out there, but it's really cool that I get to show you these commercial and industrial machines and make really cool things with them. That being said, 
this is cool and Formlabs said, as long as you're printing cool things with it, you can borrow it for as long as you want. What other cool things do you wanna see me print with my Formlabs battle station? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And let me tell you, no holds barred. Well, there we go. We made some lightsabers. We used the Formlabs materials, we used the Formlabs machines, and we highlighted a bunch of really cool designers for a bunch of models and I couldn't be happier. This is really cool. Obviously these could use some sanding and these could use some paint to, to really make them pop, but I'm excited to actually have my own set of, of lightsabers. <laughs> it's, just, it's just phenomenal. Uh, if you made this fire awesome, don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, print all the things, and as always, high five.